Well, hello there, guys and girls. I hope you're all doing bloody well, and welcome along. My name's Mikey, and you are here for episode 80 of Draw with Mikey. It's a pleasure to have you. For those of you who are new or not in the know, this is the super casual midweek series. So spoiler alert, swear word alert, there's barely any editing. We'll talk about whatever. It's my opportunity to catch up with you guys by reading your comments from the last episode. So if you guys have got something important to say, get yourself in the comment section, and with any luck, I'll read it next week around. So, um, as of things from Mikey's perspective, I'm looking out the window right now. The sun is shining for once. We've just come off of the back. Nobody asked, but I'm going to tell you. We've just come off of the back of some snow in England. It was amazing. Everybody freaked out. Um, and it was really, really bloody cold. Like, I was not impressed at all. Finally, we've got some normal weather. Good times ahead, everybody. Maybe you're getting some artwork done in the background, in which case, don't know if you can hear that. I've got a cup of tea hashtag sip of tea and maybe you guys have got some tea yourselves or coffee we accept all sorts here this is a safe place anyway what's going on with you guys in the last dwm um i did a uh, flat earth chan or real earth chan as you know those in vanilla say i'm not going to go into that again um but akif ayman says is that guile Stroheim, or polanef um akif so um, you're making an excellent reference to uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, you're making a reference, I think, in particular to Season 2, which I think is... Star no, Season 3, um, which is Stardust Crusaders, I think. It's with Jotaro, and Jojo's been relegated to a granddad um, scenario. But, yeah, it's got a Strohheim and Polonefu. <laughs> Fuck. Jojo's so good. Oh, you, you put me in the mood for Jojo. I really need to catch up with that. Uh, yeah, the... Flat Earth Chan that I did, I actually was only thinking in my mind about drawing guile and using that kind of flat top guile haircut, um, but I think because I gave it a fairly dynamic pose of the hands, like, it does actually have a bit of a JoJo's vibe around it as well, which is a, a great thing to notice, and uh, yeah, I'm up for that. If I accidentally draw in a JoJo style, I'm more than happy. Space Duck says Earth Chan with her stand, Moon Taxi. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are all on a JoJo. In fact, lolworts2000 also says is that a jojo reference oh my god guys it looks like i was going really deep on the jojo after all uh, mon says you need to draw another very important chan jackie chan oh mon i love jackie chan when i was a kid uh by the way if you're new this is literally what the series is <laughs> read your comments go on a little ramble when i was a kid jackie chan was um literally my hero he was you know when you're just like who do you look up to who's your hero for me it was jackie chan that man would uh, back in the day, never ask one of his stunt team to do a stunt he was not willing to perform himself. He really pushed for boundaries on the quality and rhythm of stunts and fight work you can get. Obviously, he works a lot with you, um, you and Bao and Sammo Hung as well. Um, in terms of the choreography side of things. But that was really important stuff in Hong Kong cinema because um, the rhythm beyond that was uh, very ba 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 pacey set as how to put it. Very incredible kung fu from a whole range of people in the 70s, um, but a lot of it was very much to the beat. Set pose, set pose, set pose. You can see it in a lot of stuff. Whereas Jackie Chan, especially in the uh, middle part of his career, oh God, what a career it's been, um, really just kind of created so much more dynamism, uh, dynamic stuff, engaged with basic stuff around the house. Ah! What's not to love? Um, and he hurts himself a lot, which is maybe part of a pleasure. Always got time for Jackie Chan. Also, uh, <laughs> you know, like, this is another thing that really speaks to me. That man, like, I'm not going to say he can sing really well, but that man sings his albums. Like, he's produced loads of music albums as well, which I just fucking love, man. If you want to have a sing song in life, go for it. And most important is why he's done loads and loads for charity. He's actually raised an awful lot of money for charity, which you never really think about when you hear about Jackie Chan. But um, yeah, that is Mon, a very important Chan. Mon, have yourself a biscuit for mentioning Jackie Chan. Uh, Bursting Bubble says, Dio, Zawaludo, summons a gigantic male earth with a, sorry, male with a flat earth top, both pose menacingly. Uh, Dio stand. So um, yeah, we, we're just gonna talk Jojo, aren't we? This entire DWM, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know if you can hear my voice is going a little bit. I've just come off the back of a web meeting, however. Bursting Bubbles. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, is that Dio stand, Zawaldo? Because in season three, um, which I think is Stardust Crusaders, I'm only, how to put it? So like season three is split into two seasons, isn't it? There's all the stuff where they're trying to reach Egypt. So I finished season three, part one, I guess, which is maybe 26 episodes. I haven't started season three, part 
2. So they haven't actually gotten to Dio. I don't know what Dio's up to. All I know is that he's somewhere in Egypt and everybody's been very, very slowly via submarine and boat and all sorts of stand trouble tried to get there. The last stand I think they engaged with where I am is, and this was it's like over a year since I watched it, I think Polonef found a stand that um, granted you wishes and it brought his sister back to life and it was really fucked up. Oh Jesus, now that I think about it, it was really dark. So I think vaguely they've just reached Egypt at the end of the episode, something like that. Uh, Elmer's Glue says, is that a motherfucking Jojo reference? <laughs> hey Mikey, hello Elmer's Glue. It's that a motherfucking Jojo reference? You've written that in caps locks. Um, let's say it is in that case. It wasn't in my head, but it clearly is. Sir, drawing Rock Lord Carrera of first of his name, what an excellent name, sir, says, if Earth is round, explain this drawing. Checkmate, you spherical Earth-believing commies. Absolutely, sir, drawing. <laughs> You know those red bastards are going to try to get in wherever they can by telling you the Earth is world? Oh. Uh, the Earth is world, the Earth is round. This is a uh, non-political place, we're safe for everybody, but everybody knows that, you know, deep down, the Earth is round, that's, you know, a communism theory. That's what the commies made up. We know that. It's fine. And if you're a communist, it's an interesting way to live your life. I hope it works for you. Socialism as well is always good. Um, but uh, if you're trying to go around telling people the Earth is round or an oblate spheroid, then I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Red. You watch it. Uh, Sandra, is that a Jojo reference I'm smelling? Uh, yes, I guess it was Sandra. It wasn't when I did it, but it is now. And Daniel Pinilla says, hello, Mikey. Hello, Daniel. Uh, since, oh, well, since you love recommendations, I decided to give you one. Just one and nothing else. Read more. Oh, um, watch Psychopass if you haven't. If you have, what do you think of it? Oh, dude. Thank you for that recommendation, by the way. I do have that on a list. So, for the first time in a very long time, guys, I've watched an anime. I've caught up with something. I'm just picking Psycho Pass on a notepad. Two things you guys have been recommending in the last few months is to watch Psycho Pass and to watch um, Erased. So I finally, and if you follow me on Twitter, oh my god, if you don't follow me on Twitter, get in that section below. I've got a Twitter link. That's when you can find out when I'm always live on Twitch. You know, reach out into those different mediums oh social media what have you done to us um yes you guys say watch psycho pass apparently it's really engaging and watch erased apparently that was really good so guys i watched erased i binged watched it just at last weekend and oh man yeah so um i really so what was it was putting me off anime well time uh, i haven't had much of an opportunity to sit down and just really crack at something um and things like uh oh god what's that one where he gets stuck in a video game and i just i can't be interested no matter how hard i try sword art online that's the one stuff like that and stuff where the characters just look so unengaging i was just like Ugh. but erased i won't uh, i won't actually give out any spoilers guys but um okay actually it's going to get a little bit spoilerish spoilers for erased um, yeah, really good, guys. I love how... Because in the first episode, I was just like, oh, I don't know if I'm into this. This guy's got a power where um, if a bad event happens, he can go back in time by a couple of minutes. Like, it just happens to him. And he has to work out why has he gone back in time a few moments? What does he need to stop or put right? And I loved how that is not the point of the anime whatsoever. Hats off to you, because any other anime or manga would be like, oh my god, where did I get this power from? How am I going to use this power? What is life going to be? You know, it'd be this massive, like, Death Note scenario where it's all about how you manipulate the power, whatever. I love how you're thrown straight into it. Here's this guy, he's just living his life. He happens to have this thing happen to him. Um, so, you know, he just tries to kind of keep an eye on things from time to time. Boom! Real fucking thing happens, and this is like first few episodes, so you're safe still. Uh, some Somebody kills his mum! Fuck! And so, like, instead of getting sent back in time... I mean, you guys have been recommending to... I'm probably... Um, sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm really excited because the sun's shining. Can you tell? Like, I'm really hyper. Um, because, uh, like, something's happened to his mum and he goes back in time. This time, he goes back in time to when he's a kid in the 80s in his primary school because it's linked to the killer. And the reason why I really loved this is because... Um, as a very loose theme of trying to remember stuff that happened in your childhood because that's affecting modern day events 20th century boys if you guys are familiar with this as the live adaptation or the manga or is it an anime i don't think it's an anime i think it's just a manga and a live adaptation but 20th century boys is very big on the shit these people did in their childhood it's having a profound effect because of an unknown person on real real life day-to-day -day stuff loved it he got thrown back and 
he's kind of trying to do this thing on the side about trying to just engage more people and it's got this lovely overtone of if you can't tell by the way I'm recommending this to anybody who hasn't watched it it's got this lovely oh my god and I'm going on a rant I'll try to wrap this up really quickly it's got these lovely overtones of just you know like if you see someone a bit lonely and on their own especially it's a great message for kids engage with them and you know make them friends and shit and yeah I really liked it I did know who the killer was pretty quickly pretty much the first time when he's in the past that he talks to the killer and engages with him a bit I was like yeah it's definitely them it is definitely that person and then it threw you a little bit of a um like a kind of curveball because it's just like they're all in the car later and this particular character has like a, a particular I was gonna say fetish that's the wrong word he's got habits that you know he does instead of smoking um, and you kind of think, oh, and then he does that, and you're like, oh, maybe he's a nice guy after all. But I was always in the back of my head just like, no, it's totally him. Uh, but thank you very much. It's basically, oh, fucking hell. A little bit of sunshine. I'm having a great day. Basically, guys, um, what I should have just said is it's really good. Thank you very much for suggesting it. Keep those suggestions coming because I like to race so much. Yeah, I'm going to try to make sure I watch Psycho Pass at some point. It is next on the list 2018 everybody though back to basics is mikey's theme so i will be trying to watch some old school anime as well right i'm going to calm down i'm going to stop rambling and i'm going to get back to your delicious comments uh, richard ryan says made a fuss about jojo's hair <laughs> mate everyone's talking jojo don't worry about it flat earth says gabriel and mc gabriel lapin mc flat earth indeed true earth some would call it and aminia latil says well i wasn't expecting that i'd like to uh, keep things unexpected from time to time Hmm. Sip of tea. Grey Fox Airsoft says, draw Android 21, please. Grey Fox. Yeah. Definitely on my to-do list. Definitely. Um, by the way, I'm assuming when everybody's asking me to do Android 21 requests, because I've had a lot of them now, um, are you guys all talking about the Mage in Boo? Like, I don't know what's happening in this new Dragon Ball, but at a glance, it's very clearly like a Mage in Boo version of Android 21. So I'm assuming that's the one you want me to draw, not the brunette original version, I guess. Anyway, Kia says, and by the way, that is, <laughs> that's not me making a noise. That is genuinely someone's username. Uh, to be honest, she looks like gone. Uh, really? Oh my God, yeah. Um, when Gon um, fucking has that Nen moment uh, to uh, take down Nephilopitu at the end. I know where you're coming from. For a minute, I was just like, what are you talking about? But you are correct. Uh, General Zahaki says, BDSM, not safe for YouTube. Sounds like a Patreon art piece to me. I never want to add to your how-to videos, but do you think you could or would do in the future one for armor? A few of my characters, even my own OC wears armor, but I can never get it right. General Zahaki, armor is, I'm just gonna remind myself though, tutorial armor is on my to-do list of various tutorials as well it's always worth um, jogging my memory though i'm having a catch-up on facebook i'm trying to be really active lately you've probably seen me on all the social medias except for twitch as of recording this i haven't gone back to twitch since i've been on holiday yet i'm very naughty not that i owe twitch anything but i am looking forward to doing that as well when i get a chance uh i'm catching up through my facebook messages on the facebook page and yeah um i've just seen a load of them from about six months ago that have been asking for armor as well it might even have been your good self who knows phantomicious says hello mikey hello phantom uh, did you know that hotengeki was a how to draw book what? I bought it without knowing it. When it arrived, I immediately realised that it's Hotengeki. And I was quite shocked. Wait, what? Hotengeki is a book designed how to draw? I thought it was a manga. Um, it's called How to Draw Echi Bishoujo Girls or something like that. And the book is in Japanese. I can't read shit, but the uh, drawings help get plenty uh, done alone. The book basically teaches how to draw thick bodies, um, but it has things like faces, hands, and other parts too. Whoa. Um, what? No, I didn't know any of that. Let's just pop into a new tab. Excuse me. Hotengeki Type Moon. Oh, wait, no, that's... um. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, so to give a little bit of context of why I was reading that so weirdly, I thought Hotengeki was the name, I'll confuse myself, of that video game you guys have been telling me to play. But the video game's in, like, season, like, version 4. Um, and there's three other versions where people have to kill each other or lie to each other or something and it has an anime version. Hotengeki, of course, now I remember, is um, the etchy artist. Uh, and if Hotengeki does have a how to draw book, I also need to buy it. Oh my god, that all makes sense now. Leave that tab open. Phantomlicious, thank you very much. 
Excellent. Anna Thompson says, hello, Mikey. Hello, Anna. I hope I might ask a question. Is it right in the comment? Well, let me try that again. I hope I ask my question in the right comment section. It's my first time commenting, so yeah. In that case, Anna, welcome along. Uh, I just wanted to request that it would make my day if you could make a cute female version of Yuri and Victor from Yuri on Ice. Have a great day. <gasps> yeah, I'll do that. Control C. Not anytime soon, but I'm adding it to my suggestions list. That's a great suggestion. Thank you. And Tim, know your damn business. Oh, it's a pleasure. Says, welcome back, Mikey. Hope you had a good time. I'm now 30 birthdays today. Tim, happy birthday to you, good sir. I hope you had a good one, dude. Ever thought about issuing an art challenge to us? It could be fun. Yes. Yes and no. Um, as in, uh, the idea of doing an art challenge is a lot of fun. Uh, the work behind sifting through results and setting up like where it's going to get shown. Do you have to do proof of um, work in process on new grounds and stuff like that? The work behind it is probably a bit more engaging than it seems like off the top of your head. Not that I'm saying no, but I'm just explaining why I haven't casually done one already. I like the idea, but um, I think you actually have to do quite a bit of prep beforehand. I haven't quite got a window to do the prep. Um, so that is definitely a back burner, good sir. I really like the idea of it. Um, Especially since I've been cracking out on a Facebook again and just going through loads of your art submissions and stuff I do like seeing what you guys are drawing and what you're up to. Uh, so Tim, yeah, I might as well write it here as well I've got so many notepad files on my desktop from all these sessions art submissions uh, Competition Question mark But no great suggest Jesse Schickler says, this is what Dio Stan should really look like. Thank you, Jesse, indeed. And Omniscient Warrior says, when it comes to criticising, if you can't be constructive, then be polite. Oh, I agree. Um, but you should speak with what you feel because people can't progress if they aren't told how to improve. It shouldn't matter if you can do better or not. Um, oh, is this in reference to somebody who's saying uh, the hair I was drawing on that canary-themed character looked like sausages? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Criticism is fine. Do try to make it constructive. Do be polite. Because um, if you just come in and say that looks like shit, well, you know what? Maybe you look like shit. Maybe your mum looks like shit. I'm kidding. I don't know your mum, even though I hear a lot of guys do. Oh! Um, so basically, yeah, that's a very good point. Um, but you don't have to be a good artist yourself to offer up constructive criticism. Um, all you have to do is be a viewer. You know, because if I make some art and the, the purpose of the art is to be looked at, you don't have to be an artist, but if you immediately see something that does or doesn't work for you, let me know about it. Be polite, be constructive. But yeah, you don't like you don't have to prove your worth to give feedback about something. That's not how it works, so don't stress. Uh, Omniscient Warrior, very good points. When it comes to DA, Deviant Art, they can and wait, they can and do, although denied sell art without permission of the artist and without compensating them. Oh god, yeah, so I asked you guys last time. Dude, you've absolutely reminded me. So last time some of you were saying uh, DeviantArt can sell your art without asking you. And I was like, what? What? Tell me more about this. So it looks like you are telling me more about this. Uh, DeviantArt can sell art without permission of the artist and without compensating them. And sometimes the art is stolen from there by others. So it just happens to be on there. But that part can happen anywhere. Absolutely. In the agreement policy, it's freebie that is the problem. Oh, dude. You know what, Omniscient Warrior? I saw a post or an article about, um, you know, I was talking about Vivo? Vimo? Vero. Vero, there we go. So, <laughs> do, you, do any of you guys remember um, going back to uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I've just had a fucking flashback. In season three, uh, Stardust Crusaders, there's a bit where um, is it is it Polonef, the, uh, the guy with red hair? I think it's not him. Like somebody um, assumes his form or something, or controls his body. But there's a bit where he starts eating a lollipop really, really weirdly. And like, uh, Vero, he just goes, Vero, 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 Vero. And it's just like him just rolling the lollipop really, really weirdly around his tongue. Vero, 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 Vero. Anyway, trying to remember the name of this app just reminded me of that. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, you'll know it's fucking amazing. Um, apparently there is some concern about the guys behind making Vero a link to like a lawsuit where 30,000 construction workers weren't paid and shit like that. Um, apparently people are concerned it might be a bit more, or the people running the app or related to it might be a bit more dodge than other people thought. Um, and it's like in the last four weeks bumped from like 150,000 to 3 million people using it or something. I don't know, I might have made it up. I might have um, confabulated, but something mental. Um, so I'm just kind of thinking, and you know what, I've got to be honest, since I installed it, 
I haven't opened it once. So I think like that app might not be for me. Um, but I'm also very concerned about the T's and C's behind it. Absolutely. Anyway, sorry, uh, Omniscient. You're trying to be helpful. I'm going on another tangent. Um, what are you saying? Anyway, Flash is still in big swing. Oh, shit, did you? You're answering all my questions. Okay, so Flash still happens. People still use it. Uh, used all the time for some animations, but a lot more for gaming. Newgrounds has a lot on it. Even DeviantArt uses it. There's a filter just for Flashworks. I still don't know about calling X-23 the daughter of Wolverine as she's a clone of him. Um, it enters something of a grey area. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, you could clone yourself and call it your son, I guess. You know, you shouldn't. Well, actually... I don't know the morality on cloning. Um, I wouldn't suggest it. How about that? Um, but yeah, I guess she's a she's like the daughter he never had, though. So I'm happy for her to fill the daughter role in Wolverine's life. Um, you know, lots of feels and emotion. Logan, like if you cried every time. Uh, Cognivision says, this will be featured on a Flat Earther website. Cognivision, I think you mean the truth websites out there. The websites that aren't blinded. The websites that are unplugged from the Matrix, finally. Uh, Shadow Animate says, Hey Mikey Mega Mega, hello Shadow Animates. I love your videos, thank you very much. But I'm just wondering if you can make a video on or two on how to draw different noses, shapes and sizes. So dude, I did do that um, Ilya Kulishov, Kulishov? Um, kind of uh, themed mapping the faces video. Noses tutorial. Well, I was hoping it was going to mainly cover the nose and a different curve of it, but you want more noses? More noses will do. Add it to the list. Sage Fowler says, uh, Jenna Lynn Miauri's Earth Chan has beyond proven to me that the Earth is definitely not flat. By the way, could you do a gender bend? Inuyasha! Inuyasha, yeah! That is already on my list, actually. I'm pretty sure. I love Inuyasha. Um, or a <laughs> FAF. Uh, commas SAS of either Kagomi from Inuyasha or Tia from Bleach. Tia? Is Tia the one who is the blonde with the underboob? Tia from Bleach. God. Anyway, all good suggestions. Sage Flower. Paula. I know who you're talking about. Jenna Lin Miaudi has. She's like a um, cosplayer. I think she's got like a really big online following, for those of you who don't know. And she did um, some Earth Chan cosplay. And oh my goodness, that's, um, I'm, it's safe for work, but <laughs> damn, absolute damn. You know what, Sage Fowler, that is the first good argument I have heard in all my life that the Earth might be round, because we know it's flat, but in terms of other stuff like blah, 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 Earth from space, blah, 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 orbiting the sun, we all know they're lying. We all know that's made up by the government um, who are injecting hormones into the water system and, you know, spraying stuff in the sky that something, something Obama made my frog turn gay. Um, however, Jenilyn Miauri does have a very engaging argument for a spherical Earth. Good, sir. Good, good, sir. Application says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Applications. I'm disappointed you don't know the way, but I must still thank you for drawing Uganda Knuckles Chan. Anyways, um, I think everybody has a meme or two that speaks to their soul in a very special way, and Uganda Knuckles is that meme for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> applications, that says more about you than it does about anything else. <laughs> Just makes me smile inside. Hashtag the way will never die. But anyways, yeah, thanks. No worries, dude. Right now, I'm trying to make a deadline for a costume design contest for a game that I play called Black Desert Online. Deadline is today, so I'm, which was last week, so I'm cutting it very close. Good luck um, from a few days late, good sir. Love you, Mikey. Thank you very much. Love you too. Don't worry about taking little breaks. Keep up the good work. And what penny? Oh, fucking hell. What penny using senpai? Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag take a sip. Take a sip indeed. Mmm. It's a good thing it's a delicious cup of tea. It's been a while since I made a tea before doing one of these instead of coffee. Mmm. P.S. I'm officially someone's girlfriend now. I know. I can't believe it either. Applications. Congratulations. Oh, I wish you all the best in romantic life. Uh, Apple Williams says, Earth Chan before puberty is flat earth. Apple Williams, all Earth Chan is flat earth. You idiot. And Menma Onyx says, that is the manliest Earth Chan I've ever seen. I love it. I love it. Excellent. Thank you. Dr. Hook says, Mikey, hello, hope you're doing well. Thank you very much, Dr. Hook. I'm okay. How are you doing, good sir? I was just about to type a comment saying how I actually did like the bearded ladies you drew, then suddenly heard my name said in the video. It was a lovely surprise. I'm happy I made it into the last episode. P.S. Congratulations. As much as I like bearded ladies, I would have preferred more than just one to have been shaven. Beards or nothing, Dr. Hook. Beards or nothing. Jericho Cross 97 says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Jericho Cross. I have a request stroke recommendation. Yeah, come at me, brah. Bam! Drawing your version of your favourite art YouTuber avatars. 
Totally not trying to gain subs off him. Oh no, I love all of that idea. I wonder if you've done Dark Magician Girl. Um, also, can you do a tutorial on soft light brushes on Photoshop? Adds an amazing effect. I just don't know how to properly use them. Soft light brushes. I can't I can't see your art and say it's bad. You do stuff I don't have the creativity to do. Um, example, Earth Chan, by the way. Dave Greco, appreciative a shout out. Hashtag Arkle Crew, hashtag Notification Squad, hashtag Sympathy, hashtag Sorry for the essay. Dude, so. Um, yeah, soft light brushes, like what, going onto a lighten layer and then using that, or just using soft brushes to imply light on color tone and stuff like that? I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, guys, I never mentioned, did I? How far are we in this episode? Oh, we're not even halfway, we're fine. Right now, what you'll see me do is um, I'm just having a kind of uh, another experiment. I'm grabbing uh, Danny Elfman because I'd never gave her a better surname. Uh, Danny, one of our OC silver haired elves, the younger one, although I've drawn her touch more mature in this one. Um, and I just, uh, this is from a session I was doing um, just the other night, where I just wanted to sit down and, again, just experiment a little bit in the route and process I take to drawing something. So I'm not trying to create a finished art piece. It gets semi-finished by the end of it. Um, I quite like my soft brush introduction, but I wanted to have a go at drawing a character, getting to that line art layer, but keeping it really scratchy, imbuing the line art layer back in, and then painting early instead of like after the line art and then coming back in hope this makes sense it will do visually um with a like black line art layer later on in the game after i've actually painted in a little bit just to see what's that like for drawing do i like it in terms of how it affects my workflow and basically just having a bit of an experiment as an artist i'm doing things in a slightly different order just to kind of get through a bit of a muddle but also see well does this work i don't know till i've tried it so basically you'll see me at the moment just draw um a mess around and color in a picture of danny we do like danny um, I learned a really great uh, little trick from an artist on Twitch called Madeleine Inc. You guys probably already know it when I get to the freckles towards the end of the video about taking a brush and then just turning it into a, like a um, like a particle scattering beam pretty much where you just turn the brush into individual segregated dots and you make those dots really scattered so as you paint it on it just like randomly drops these dots in incredible technique um also joko cross talking about twitch artists uh, it sounds like you went over to dave greco's channel and gave it a sub that's very very kind of you he mentioned to me on twitch that he noticed a couple people had turned up and said they'd come over from here i will probably give that i mean don't tell him i will probably give that man a proper shout out for his youtube channel eventually because um it's not just because i'm a massive fanboy of his artwork which is incredible he is a professional um, but also, like, uh, he comes across as a really top bloke on Twitch. Like, his uh, channel's a really chill place, not too high energy, and he shares, like, um, his drawing process. So, as you guys are probably aware by now, if you're somebody who hangs out here, I quite like drawing, and I quite like sharing that knowledge, or whatever little things I, I know, I like to share it with you guys, because then we're all kind of learning to draw together. He's another per By the way, obviously, his level of production is way, way up there. He's an actual pro. But he seems to have that kind of um, very open attitude as well on his Twitch live streams, where you can just ask him about his drawing process. He paints his stuff live, isn't keeping anything back, isn't keeping like trade secrets. He just shares with you what he's up to. And I love that sort of shit. So people who share their artwork and their drawing process and they make it something accessible for other people, I've always got time for that in my book. Um, so yeah, I'll give him a proper shout out one day. Uh, but yeah, he got back to me and said thanks. What a nice guy. Um, Necrovarius says, uh, Mikey, I noticed you seem to favor the positions of the hand you use. <gasps> Necrovarius, let's hold that. Also, Jericho Cross, yeah, um, avatars of YouTubers. I should do that and get on that whole networking situation. That's a great idea. Thank you. Anyway, Necrovarius, uh, yeah, two together in the middle with a pointer and pinky outward. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, Necrovarius, when it comes to drawing a hand in a relaxed way, a really, really common thing you'll see across loads of artwork involves like I don't know how to call it like an anti Spock gesture um, so instead of live long and prosper it's like it you can't see me doing it it's uh, the middle two fingers together you're absolutely right and then the first and the last one out and it visually um, creates a very natural look for that I'm not saying my last picture looked natural at all but I mean in a very general art sense it's a very common way especially in anime to see it done uh, I should mix it up more now that you say that, um, now that you're on to me. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a way to do things um, quite often, which I quite like. You're absolutely right. Is there a reason behind it beyond that? No, it's just a thing that like you'll see artists do from time to time, I guess. I picked up from somewhere. Yuki Potato says, first the sausage and now the plate. <laughs> Yuki. 
<laughs> I'm right with you on that one. Absolutely. Nice drawing, Mikey. P.S. When will you do singing Mikey again? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I haven't done a song in a tutorial for ages. Oh, I'm going to have to think. About it. I'm going to stick that on the thing. Sing more in tutorials. You're absolutely right, dude. It's been a while since we've had a little sing song. Uh, I won't have one right now, shall I? No. No, no, we're going to keep it pro. Come on, I'm too hyper already because of the sunshine. I'm not kidding. It is, it's not amazing weather outside. The sky's going to look like it's a bit overcast. But there's like the first beam of sunshine I've seen all year is currently cutting at a really thin angle into my room. And it just changes my attitude so much. I've definitely got like um, that sad thing, is it called? Something, sunlight, something that begins with A, something disorder. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I actually have it, but I'm definitely susceptible to some of its symptoms, i.e. I get really hyper and happy when the sun's shining. When the sun's not shining, actually, I love it when it's raining and you don't have to go outside. Like, it's a Sunday and it's tipping it down with rain and, like, you can hear thunder outside. And, like, all I need to do all day long is, like, drink some tea and do some drawing or watch a film. I love that. I love that as well, I won't lie. Um, but if it's really cold, eh, Mikey starts to shut down a little bit. Pablo 18C says the earth is flat. You are correct. Well done, Pablo. Have a cup of tea. And Pyronite says Jojo intensifies. <laughs> is that a um, cross reference from Intensity Intensifies, which is a um, uh, audio commentary visuals um, meme from something, from like a BBC thing? Mm. Eleven Gingin is a Liverpool scouser. Oh my god. Eleven, I'm going to let you off, but you're in dangerous territory. And Buster Rooms. Oh, I like it. It says, I started drawing and watching your videos about a year ago. And let me tell you, I went from a shit artist to not half bad for your videos. Good shit, bro. Buster Rooms. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really glad you found anything I do to be of any use. Thank you very much, good sir. Uh, Jessica French says, okay, but like for manga car that does fairy tale based off of his style... Oh, based his style off of a One Piece manga card because it was his favourite manga or something like that. In time he developed his own style and became less and less like One Piece. However, I will admit, despite being a long time fan, Fairy Tale will occasionally have a really disturbing flow. And I've reread the page to figure out what's happening. Jessica French, thank you very much for ans answering. Oh, you've done an essay. Okay, give me a minute. Um, thank you very much for answering what I was saying. Because, yeah, when I first saw Fairy Tale and I didn't have an eye to differentiate it, first thing I thought was, is this the guy behind One Piece? Back before I knew better. Um, so yeah, I think it did very much come into its own thing. And the fairy tale of these days does not look like the One Piece back of them. In terms of the flow of the page, uh, yeah, I don't remember. It. I mean, I remember the pages looking great, don't get me wrong. But in terms of that visual eye flow thing, on and off. Also, Mikey, don't draw any more anime girls. As someone who's been drawing for years, I too went back to basics and to reapproach everything I've struggled with. I feel like people who ask you for fan art don't realise how important it is for you to be comfortable with a way that you're drawing. Thank you very much, Jessica. You are correct. Back to basics indeed. Uh, I'm engaging with that anatomy book still. I should do some more of that on a live stream or something for Twitch. Um, but yeah, not just the girls. I've got to be messing around with the guys as well. He says whilst on screen right now he's drawing a girl. But that's okay. This is one of my OCs. So I'm I'm always happy to draw them and just get a feel for them uh, as we go. Shameless plug for you says, I drew this after the Widowmaker and Tracer videos. <gasps> There's a link. You inspire me no matter what you do, but I want to see your journey extend past fan art and meme girls. Oh, okay. Let's give this a click in a new tab. Shameless plug, but you've called it on yourself, so I will take a look. Holy m <laughs> Uh, dude, like, uh, <laughs> that image flashed up um, pretty quickly on my page, and I was immediately just like, oh my god, and then you've got, like, a really, <laughs> it just gave me a scare, you've got a really well-placed cupcake <laughs> that is making this safer work, I'm really impressed, your colours on this are fantastic, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, long time no post, dude, uh, Facebook, Lily Lemon, okay, great, let's give that a close, let's come back on to the new tab, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's really good. Keep up the good work. Um, hashtag long comments along. Hashtag sip of tea. Yeah, it's a great shout. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag notification squad. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, you got some skills. I want to see more. Uh, Chuck, not more of that one, by the way. Keep that cupcake there for the love of God. But more of your artwork, definitely. Chuck Farley says, Mikey. Hello, Chuck. I hope you have fully recovered from your Vegas trip. Yeah, dude. As you can probably hear, my, my voice is going. But physically, I feel alive again. Thank you very much for asking. As it's a miserable week for weather, yeah mate, tell me about it, I've been sitting inside in the evenings and working through your tutorials. You've mentioned Danger Girl a few times and I've seen you draw the Major in a J. Scott Campbell uh, vibe. Yes! 
Chuck, you are spot on. That's exactly what I've done. And I'd love to see you break down his face and bodies because you nailed for look perfectly. Thank you for all the content you share with us. Hashtag take a sip. Yeah. Um, you know, well, the only reason I can do that, because it's partly by eye. Sure, but I'm just going to go off piece to everybody a quick moment. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Just continue what you're doing. Not that. I know what you're doing. Uh, oh, shit. Where's my... Oh, I can't see it immediately. <gasps> oh, my God. I've just seen something else completely unrelated that I'm going to talk about. Anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't know where I've put it, somewhere in the house. Um, but I have a J. Scott Campbell book, and it's nothing to do with, well, it is all Danger Girl, but it's a sketchbook. It's Sketches from Danger Girl, I think it's called something like that. Picked it up secondhand really randomly in a shop once, never looked back. And he talks about, like, his design process behind the characters, like failed designs, how the characters looked before they got finalised, um, thinking about the characters to be used as figurines and stuff. Oh, way better than any Danger Girl book is that his sketchbook behind Danger Girl. Really recommend that. Um, and um, yeah, it talks about the face breakdown a bit. So yeah, I was thinking, obviously uh, step one is about the basics. That's kind of needs to be my thing or my jam for this spring. Um, but I was thinking a little bit later down the road, what I do sometimes in a DWM is I just sit down and I draw like a character. And I just sit there and I draw a character and I draw him again and I look at loads of reference pictures online of popular images and I just sit there like ink to sketchbook, not on the um, tablet, and just have a little play of them. And I, I'm going to do more of that anyway because that's what I like to do, but I was thinking maybe we'll have a few DWM episodes in the future which are focused around a particular artist. So it'll be DWM drawing in the style of, boom, oh excuse me, I'm having a burp, this, burp, this artist or that artist and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, great suggestions, Chuck. Uh, Danger Girl stuff, absolutely. That man, that man knows how to draw a girl. And in fact, you know what? Jazza did a video about artists that inspire him. And I, this might have been a dream, but I'm pretty sure he mentioned uh, Danger Girl in that as his references for drawing his own women as well. Another person, by the way, who does really, really good women is uh, Paolo Pantalena. I think that's his name. He does a lot of um, comic book covers and stuff. His Instagram is chock-a-block with uh, excellent ink work and sidetracking he recommended a pen so for once what pen i've got a pen here i haven't used it yet um which i'm gonna have a play around with it is a fudenosuke tombow pen i think um with like a variable faux like tip so it's you can get thin lines and thick lines out of it basically uh straight from japan i'm gonna do a what pen are you using video soon guys i it started off as like a joke but genuinely I'm going to have to do a video where we talk about pens and pen quality. Um, so, yeah, that's a great idea, great suggestion. What I found in my bookshelf, um, which isn't anything to do with what you're saying, was I couldn't find that. I've got a book I bought myself as a present, uh, which I haven't even opened yet. It is, and some of you guys might know this, uh, La Trilogie Nicopol, the Nicopol Trilogy. La Foi aux Immortels, which I think is Foi, I don't know, The Land of the Immortals. Uh, La Femme Page, the female something, and the Froid Equator, the cold equator. This guy is a hell of a French artist. Um, oh no, maybe he was born in Yugoslavia. In Anke Bilal, né en Yugoslavie en 1950. Okay, yeah, but he's done some incredible work. And uh, yeah, I've got this great big graphic novel to sit down with. Um, that's nothing to do with anything guys so i'm just gonna put that aside um but just something i'm quite excited about time for mikey <laughs> anyway, yeah chuck great suggestion sorry i went on the sidetrack about something unrelated um will wright says what do you think of the snow right now will i love how to put it if i see kids enjoying the snow then um, I'm, apparently I'm supposed to be 120 yards away according to the police no if i see kids enjoying the snow i just think fucking yes you know what it reminds me of the days of reading calvin and hobbs enjoy it engage with the snow i hope you have a bloody good day get the sled out unfortunately as an adult all the snow means to me now is oh fuck there's going to be loads of people at the petrol station buying all the bread um and it's going to be really difficult to get anywhere and i have to get places to get stuff done so my attitude towards the snow it isn't quite the magical attitude it used to be but i'm not a hater if other people love the snow that does still, you know, light a little fire in my heart. But no, um, personally, fuck the snow. Fuck all that bad weather we've got. It's sunshine now. 
Great question. What do you think of the snow? Um, oh, Aslan... Oh, no. Aslan Yakubrov uh, has written something in Cyrillic, which I cannot read. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this. And let's see if we can put this into Google Translate. Let's hope it's not a load of hate speech. Translate. <clears throat> what are you saying? <laughs> so I think what you're saying is, fuck fucking draw girls. I want to see, but that you are still capable. So I guess, I mean, Google Translate struggles. So you're either saying, fuck drawing girls, as in stop drawing girls. I want to see what you're capable of other than that. In which case, I hope you enjoyed Flat Earth Chan. Or like, you know, you're typing with one hand and having a wank and you're just like, oh fuck, oh, those fucking drawing girls. Oh yeah, I want to see. But you are still capable. Um, in either case, thank you very much for commenting. Uh, <laughs> we'll address that. Um, drawing non-female characters, yes. Yes, we are going to expand everybody. It can't just be about the girls. I mean, they're always going to be there, don't you worry. Um, but we need to expand and play around and look at stuff. And again, this is why I want to engage with like some really old school anime and manga. It's why I need to start listening to your suggestions and reading this. Uh, a friend of mine who I used to sit next to in my old job had a lot of great suggestions for loads of music and stuff. And I've just got this list of things to listen to. 2018, guys. 2016, worldwide, was a fucker. Uh, and I was not a big fan. I didn't particularly enjoy 2017 either for a few personal reasons. 2018, though, I'm loving it so far. I am bloody loving 2018. I hope yours, you lovely people at home, is also going okay as well. Uh, Calcutin Con Rhombus Man says, Pol Nadu Chan. Oh, no, even better, you've said Pol Nadu Chan. Mate, love it. Get yourself a biscuit. And Ulalu Emamoki says, Welcome back. Thank you very much, Ulalu. Let's uh, keep having a scroll through. Um, oh, we're coming towards, not the end yet, but endish. So I'm going to have a little skip down um, and see what's going on. Pythagoras, or, oh no, Pathogenus says, Hi Mikey, hello Pathogenus. First time commenting. Well, welcome along, good sir. Lurkers are always welcome in this series. Maybe you just need that sweet Mikey voice in the background. Um, but if you ever want to say hello, I will try to catch it. As you know, I get quite a few comments. Anyway, recently I started watching your DWMs while drawing because when I have music playing in the background it tends to be too distracting. It's either too fast or too slow and it doesn't fit my pace of drawing. Oh mate, music, for better or for worse, has an incredible effect on your productivity. Absolutely. I don't know how I will survive after listening to all of your videos. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. I'll still keep making them. Recently, I graduated from uni. Congratulations. Currently looking for a job, but now I have a lot of time, so I practice drawing every day. Drawing suggestion. I'm surprised that no one so far has recommended any Toho characters, at least from videos I've seen so far. My personal favourite is Sakuya Iazoi. Toho. Is this Toho Projects? Let's just go into a new tab. What's she saying that? Got to leave that other tab up for the Hotengeki art book. Oh, okay. Sakuya Iazoi. Toho Wiki. Chief Maid, who serves Amelia Scarlet. I don't know what any of that is, but excellent. Okay. I'll add her on a to-do list. Thank you very much. You've charmed me anyway. Um, she is basically a JoJo reference. Throws knives while stopping time. What? Wait, who throws knives and stops time in JoJo? Oh, wait. Spoiler alert. Is that a spoiler alert for me? Anyway. Um, yeah. Excellent. I'm really glad uh, you're enjoying a bit. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going off track. Really glad you're enjoying a bit of Mikey time, dude. I'm, I go in and out. Sometimes... As uh, you guys will know, I did a video a little bit earlier this year, or last year, which is really simple. It's just non-art stuff that I listen to on YouTube whilst I draw. So that includes stuff like um, uh, people who do like really low energy level reviews of terrible movies. Um, to be fair, I didn't actually mention Red Letter Media on there because I've only just recently started listening to a lot of their stuff. But I listen to a lot of Red Letter Media stuff now, um, best of the worst, uh, especially. Um, and uh, Half in a Bag. Uh, Oliver Harper's channel, he's really good. A load of other things, just to kind of have one in the background. But sometimes I kind of get sick of that, and I do go back to putting on albums. It's kind of swings and roundabouts for me. I kind of, I have to flip from one to the other. But if Pathogenus, for you it's all about that talky-talky, then welcome, welcome. Uh, Bavesan, or Bavesan says, this is flat on so many levels. Bavesan, indeed. And Bojack D says, uh, if I remember, X-23 was half Korean in the original story. And also, Earth-chan reminds me of Deep Space Waifu. Deep Space Waifu? What? What is that? Let's open a new tab. Yeah, I remember... Oh, wow. Hello. Waifu Academy. What? <laughs> what is this? 
Or is this a strip and like desktop game? Maybe I don't want to click that. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it was X23. <sighs> There's another one that is Asian that has um, adamantium uh, claws come out of her fingers. Now, I don't know my stuff when it comes to this, so you guys will probably know better than me, but I don't think that's X-23. I thought that was a different character altogether. Anyway, uh, let's keep going down. Trinity Robin says, Hey, Mike Yellow Trinity, I've never used Photoshop for drawing before, so I'm wondering if you can do a tutorial for the program. I feel it would help myself and others just getting into digital art. I mean, Trinity Robins, I have done a Photoshop tutorial for how to separate your line art, and I've done the top 10 things that I do when drawing in Photoshop. So I've got some stuff out there which I hope you'd find would be useful. Anyway, love your work as always. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say. Looking forward to DWM's and tutorials. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag sip of tea. Heroes, all of you. Mm. Let's have a sip. Mike Stanton says, wow, you're in Vegas and you didn't stop by and say hi? I think that should put me in a running for a pen display tablet giveaway. Oh, Mike, are you? do you live in Vegas? Uh, mate, um, to be fair, it wasn't. We weren't doing a holiday on my agenda, if that makes sense. The reason we went to Vegas was for my friend's stag do, uh, and there was like sixteen of us in total, split very roughly across three groups that kept meeting up and doing stuff. Um, so it was like you know, all hands to deck, so to speak. Um, but dude, how's life in Vegas? It's a little bit chilly uh, a couple of weeks ago when we went, but it was definitely warmer than the UK we came back to. That's for sure. Uh, Stephen Cabrera says, speaking of deviant art, I made an account. Don't worry, I won't plug myself. At the end of 2017, it's a way of getting more artwork done, trying to develop my style. Um, I, f I always thought that place was cancer, <laughs> but you just treat it like Twitter and all of that stuff's really easily avoided. Yeah. Yeah, you have to know when to like really dive into a platform and let it go or like what it's useful for and what it's not useful for. Absolutely. And Twitter's very funny like that. I like to tweet out stuff, um, but I tend to just like engage with a very few people on Twitter these days. It's usually people who regularly kind of um, follow me along for live stuff on Twitch that I like hang out with on Twitter, air quotes, i.e. respond to comments. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of got a mixed use, I'd see. Anyway, Coffee Cat J says, hey, hello, Coffee Cat. I only found your channel very recently, and it's great to see someone who just enjoys drawing. Well, thank you very much. Of course, just then you went on vacation, and I was wondering when the next DWM would be. But luckily, there's a whole back catalogue. Congrats on the voice. <laughs> I have a terrible voice. I mean, you guys are really kind, but thank you very much. 10 out of 10. What a rating. Excellent. I love listening and drawing along after work. Uh, thanks for the great content. I'll surely stick around. Coffee Cat J, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, Jed says, the panel flow Eyepatch Wolf was talking about has been prevalent in DC and Marvel comics for a very long time. Ah, oh, Jed, you are spot on. I didn't mention that at all. I was talking just about anime and manga in terms of that, um, off of the back of that video. Uh, yeah, um, Western comics have had it down um, quite well for quite a while to varying degrees. Um, some are still better than others, um, but I can think of a load of Batman com comics that really follow the arc of combat with the swings and stuff really, really well. And also, this guy explains layout technique well. You've given me a link to a YouTube video on topic. Thank you. I will pop back to that later. I don't think it's fair to compare manga to American comics because of the time and money constraint. I think there's a 110 reasons why you can't compare them. I think there's 110 reasons why you can make generalized co comparisons. And there's a whole load of comics in between which blur the line between the two. Oh my God, I'm not gonna go on this massive tangent because I said it, um, at least two or three times before in the history of DWM. But how to put it? Humans have a tendency to try to fit everything into definable categories because that makes our lives as people a little bit easier. Like colors, we split into categories, but like you can move the edges of those boxes a little bit and blur it into something else and then it becomes a little bit more difficult. It's the same with categorizing animals and fish and anything. Anything that's like subjective or in nature is mental. And there's always stuff you can't categorize as easily as others. So what I'm getting at is that there's not comics and there's not Western comics and there's not anime. You've got to imagine it as a spectrum. There's stuff that's very heavily down one side of the anime spectrum and stuff that's very heavily down the Western comic side. But different artists, different production companies and houses have very variations and techniques. Some borrow from the other. Some merge somewhere in the middle in this grey zone where you're looking at a very anime style comic or a very comic style manga and you don't know what's going on um because it's so interpretive and there's so many variations blah 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna skip to the end blah 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 this is why i really fucking love art 
there's you're never done there's always something new to engage with and interesting stuff uh god i've gone on a tangent i didn't want to do that i wanted to crack one of your comments let's get back on track my friends i'm gonna go for a little bit of scrolling down Aberdeen RZ says, thank God it's flat. Indeed. Um, and Ahobo says, explain this round, Earthers. I'm just imagining you shaking a fist as well. Thank you very much. Um, and Laszlo Sodemi says, I've just received at the Illuminati headquarters from the reptilian overlord George Soros that you're being monitored for leaking information about the actual shape of the Earth. I highly recommend you cease such actions or else you might be eliminated, then replaced with a clone that dies at a young age and acts different enough to start conspiracy theories. Instead of drawing outdated memes, I recommend you to finish your never-ending back catalogue of art, which you should expand with some of the girls from Tales of Bursia. Laszlo Sodemi, I did receive a text message from our reptilian Illuminati overlords mentioning that I shouldn't be sharing the secrets of the flat earth quite so openly don't you worry good sir don't you worry uh let's have a scrolling but scrolling thunder guns pro is that world or thunder guns pro how do you this is a really random question how do you write in bold in a youtube comment your comment is really really bold compared to everything else oh my god anyway mikey can you draw faye valentine from cowboy bebop in one of your studies would love it cult cult turt tyrant 95 that is a great suggestion. What's going on the uh, notepad? Thank you very much. And uh, let's just scroll down for a couple more randoms really, really quickly. Let's see what's going on. Nacho Joey says, Fick, indeed. And Jeremy Bazano says, I love this. Thank you very much, Jerry. Camilio Andres Munoz Puentes says, Earth Chan, Jojo, edit. Indeed, I guess it was. And Okami Breden says, Welcome back, Light. <laughs> Welcome back, Likely, I was going to say. Welcome back, Mikey. I actually really need a wee not right now. You can't see me. I'm kind of shaking my legs violently. Timothy Petrokilos says, but Antarctica is supposed to be on the edge of the hair and then the North Pole should be in the middle. Uh, oh, is that how it works? Wait, what's the format for Flat Earth? Is it like a... Is it from pole edge to pole centre? Or is it like the Earth that you see on the most common drawing of westernised maps? Who knows? Who knows? Red Dead 405 says, Tablet giveaway? Hmm? Stardust Crusaders Joseph eyes. Oh, wait, there's a link. <laughs> Jojo. Great. Oh, yeah, so this is what I was saying last episode. I'm going to wrap up in just a moment, guys. We're coming towards the end. Thank you so much for listening. I bloody love you guys. Um, I did say last episode that I need to have a double check because I didn't do it um, to make sure that the winner of the last tablet hasn't gotten in touch with me some some really obscure media or like you know message me on something that i don't use like i've got a tumblr message or some shit like that um and as long as they have if they have brilliant they're gonna get sent that tablet i want them to win it obviously i want you guys i want you guys to have things if i want to give out a thing i want you guys to get it but i suspect they haven't uh, which means i've got another drawing tablet giveaway which we're gonna have to do sooner or later watch this space you lovely people Straight back to you guys. I haven't done a question. Like, sometimes we do a themed question for an episode. I have not done one for a while. Obviously, as you can see right now, I'm not creating a super final piece, but I've been experimenting with a different way to kind of create a drawn image um, in the old Photoshop using Danny Elfman. Um, what? Shall we have a question or shall I just... I'm just going to title it blah, blah. Um, experimenting of drawing styles, blah, blah, blah. I see characters. I don't know. DWM. You guys. Question for you guys. Have you got any questions? It'd be a good themed question. I mean, I, there's loads of like very basic ones. Anything going on? What are your plans for 2018? How's it all going? All of that stuff. Get in the comment section and let me know. And my delicious friends, people, followers of Mikey, the hashtag hardcore crew and so on. Let us never forget that the only way this is possible is thanks to the delicious support of you patrons on Patreon. Um, last episode, I mentioned if you're ever curious, come in. Uh, drop me a little bit of help on Patreon and then lower your amount immediately. Um, if you drop in, you get access to everything at that tier and then you can stop it immediately or lower the amount um, and so you don't get charged more than once. You can do it as a one-off. Had a few people join us on Patreon. They've come in at a certain tier, checked out all the content, thumbs up, and then drop down their um, pledge to like a really low level. Absolutely fine. Um, that's a smart way to do it if you haven't got much money to spare, but you want to help Mikey out just a little bit. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what's going on. Let's name... I was going to say name and shame. Let's name... <laughs> shame on you supporting Mikey. Shame on you encouraging him to do this nonsense. Let's celebrate the following people. 
Brownie Wars, Azek, Aorias 777, Rider 2KX, Angry Hermit, Ray C, The Clamps, Joe R, Kyrie Art, Mike, Michael S, Trent H, Adam D, Matt H, Luke C, Wes B, Carlos R, Connor M, Raymond B, Julio Felix O, Jamie, John Hall V, Alex, Gyro P, am I ever saying that correctly? I wonder. J Ro P, Jairo P, anyway. Trent P, Simon B, Taylor S, Jake Y, Live on Kill, IC Dotori, Rory A, Homongchi L, Thomas C, Ollie, Garrett, Cogleaf, The Cartoon Cynic, Christian L, Minion715, ICZ, Adam T, Zahaki, and Kurt D. Uh, you guys are at the higher end of the Patreon system. Hope you're enjoying the rewards and the recent... Uh, I was going to say refurbishment. I'm still working on the visuals, but the re-jigging of some of the content... And the rewards, obviously I've only added more, I haven't taken anything away. Um, we need to engage on this month, so I'll start working on that over the next couple of weeks. Watch this space, you delicious people. Also, ooh, we've got that Genos stuff going on in the background, I need to start releasing some of that. I feel like I had another thing that I was going to say. Oh yeah, do any of you guys watch um, or follow Film Cow on YouTube? The guy who does his animations, and he's got like a month of series. And at the end of every month, he reads for his uh, patrons' names, well, no... He displays the name of his patrons on screen and reads them like a spooky story. <laughs> I don't plan on doing that myself because uh, his spooky stories are great. But I just wanted to say, isn't that fucking good? I love his spooky stories. Um, guys, have I rambled enough? Have I gone off topic enough? Let me just go back to what I was saying. Bloody love you guys. I'll see you next week. I hope you're all having a good 2018 so far. I do apologize if I've been too hyper. There's a little bit of sun coming in my window. Sometimes that's all it takes. Have yourselves a bloody good week. Take care. Thank you.